To finish off our program today, we're going to do the story of the Pied Piper of Hamlet. Now, not all stories that are story time come out of a book. Many of the best stories in the world are told to you by someone who lets you know the story out of the top of their head. So, we have one more story. I'm going to tell you the story of the Pied Piper of Hamlet. Now, a long time ago, there was a town called Hamlet. And Hamlin had a problem. The town had rats. <laughs> Big rats. You ever seen a rat like this? Yes. yes. Now Hamlin didn't have one rat. He didn't have ten rats. He didn't have a hundred rats. He had ten thousand rats. And every time the people opened their doors, the rats came in. When they opened their kitchen cupboard, the rat was already in there. This was a really bad problem. And it was so bad. All the people got together and they went to the mayor. The mayor is the man who is in charge of running the city and keeping it safe. And they all went to him and they said, Mayor, we can't eat our own food. Everywhere we go, rats, the rats are biting us, they're eating our clothes, they're eating our house. Get rid of these rats or we're going to get rid of you. So the mayor went looking for somebody and said, okay, we'll give a reward. 1,000 pieces of gold to whoever gets rid of these rats. And next morning, a man came walking into the town. He wore very colorful clothes. And people who wear colorful clothes like that, we say they're pied because that's the design they have on their clothes. So he was the pied piper. Now, Piper is a man who plays an instrument. You know what a pipe is? It's like a flute. Walked into town and he had a big pipe to blow on. And he went to the mayor. And he said to the mayor and he said to the people of the town, Is it true that you will give me 1,000 pieces of gold if I get rid of these rats? And the people said, yes, yes, these rats are so bad. Get rid of them, we'll give you a thousand pieces of gold. And Pied Piper said, well, I'm the person for the job. And he took out his big pipes and he started to play. And the music was weird. It was screechy and scary. And it sounded like nothing they'd ever heard before. But as he started to play, all the rats from all the houses came running into the street. And they all lined up in neat little rows. And after they were all lined up, the piper started to walk. And he walked towards the river. And he walked towards the bridge. And all the rats walked behind him dancing with the music. And the pipe piper kept playing as he walked. And he walked all the way onto the bridge. And the rats followed him onto the bridge. And when he got to the bridge and the rats came after him, they didn't stop. The rats all rushed over the bridge into the water. One, two, three, four, five, ten thousand rats ran into the water off the bridge. And they all fell into the water and drowned. And they washed down to the sea and no one ever saw the rats again. So the people in the town got rid of their problems. Hyde Piper came back to the town and he said, there, I've gotten rid of your rats. Give me my gold. But the people of the town started to think, well, we don't have the rats anymore and I don't want to get rid of all my gold. I don't want to give him my gold. So the people got together and they talked and they talked and they decided they would not pay the Piper, even though they agreed to pay him. So they came to the piper and they said, we don't think we should pay you 1,000 pieces of gold. And the piper said, but you said you would give me 1,000 pieces of gold. And the people said, yes, but all you did was play a flute. We saw the, rot, the rats ran into the river by themselves. You didn't make that happen. You didn't work for this money. The pipe piper said, I did. I caused them. The people said, look. We, we appreciate that you tried. 
and we don't want your efforts to be for nothing. We'll give you a little bit of money. We'll give you three pieces of gold. Do you think that's right? The piper said, no, you must give me 1,000 pieces or you'll be very sorry. That's what you said you give me. But the mayor took three pieces of gold from his pocket and he threw them at the piper and said, that's all you're going to get. And the piper saw the three pieces of gold on the ground. He said, okay. He didn't pick them up. He walked. He started walking out of the town, down the big street. And he picked up his pipe. And he started to play. And music was weird and screechy and scary. And as he started to play, all the little children in the town, all the boys and all the girls who could walk, they got up out of their house, they opened the doors and they came into the street. And they lined up behind the piper. And the parents said, stop, what are you doing? But they threw away their parents. They said, no, you can't stop me. And no matter how hard the parents tried, they couldn't stop the children from forming a line. And the piper walked out of the town. And the children all followed him. And he walked up to the mountain top. And when he got to the side of the mountain, a big gate opened in the side. And he walked right in. And the children followed him as he played his music. And then, when the children were all inside, the mountain closed up again. And no one ever saw the children. And the people in the town said to themselves, Oh, if we had only paid the piper, we would not have lost our children. I'm going to give you the sheets of paper for the airplane. I'm going to show you how to fold them. When you finish folding them, I'm going to show you how to scotch tape them. And when we finish scotch taping them, I'm going to show you how to cut them with the scissors so that you make the final strange purchase flight. Okay?